And Preston, how did you get interested in all this? I grew up just a few miles east of here in the little town of Superior. And uh, I had a great interest in a lot of uh, living things in general, in biology and, and science and uh, as a kid. And so I studied a lot of different, plant, uh, different animals, different things. But plants weren't something that interested me initially. Uh, but we got a, my family got a membership here to the Arboretum since it was right in our own backyard. And I started visiting and I kind of, I just fell in love with the place and with the, the variety of plants and animals. And I started volunteering here and I found out that I, I quickly gained a passion and a love for plants and an, and I gained a knowledge and ability to grow them. And, uh, so I started filling up my yard with, with plants and, um, very quickly this developed into a desire to work with plants and I got uh, hired on here part-time initially and ultimately full-time and I'm now uh, the assistant retail manager and retail nursery uh, production manager for our plant sales and uh, so I get to have a lot of fun I get to propagate the plants from seed from cuttings I get to um, uh, talk to the public about them and say hey this is what you need to plant here that, you know, you want, I want something to go in this pot or I want something to go in the ground here. I can tell them what to plant. And it's a lot of fun to be able to educate people that way and to help them take something home. And uh, sometimes these people come back to me and they tell me how beautiful it's doing and how big it's grown. And it shows me, they, sometimes they show me pictures of them. And it, that's exciting to me to be able to know that that was something... I grew, and now someone else is just really enjoying it in their, their landscape, and they, they've been able to plant something that will survive for them, and that's, that's special to me. I really have a, a, a good feeling when I do that or when I'm able to help the public, and we're helping the Arboretum too because uh, our plant sales, our retail sales, all of that stays here. We're a 501c3 not-for-profit, and so um, everything we bring in, uh, stays here to support the Arboretum and its mission. And so that's very exciting as well. I know it's not part of the Arboretum, can, but can you tell us about the mountain behind you? Yes. Uh, like I said, geology is a big part of a, our, our garden as well, and we do geology walks and things. Uh, the mountain directly behind me is uh, probably the most uh, obvious, most noticeable, um, most well-recognized um, landmark in the area. It's Picket Post Mountain. And it rises up to about 2,000 feet. Uh, the Arboretum is at about 2,400 feet. The mountain's at 4,400 at the top. And uh, Picket Post is an extinct volcano. Um, tell you a little more about that in a minute. Um, the name Picket Post is derived from the fact that they used to picket troops here uh, back in the day when there was um, uh, skirmishes with uh, rogue uh, Apaches and, uh, and other bands that would often come up from Mexico and... Um, Sometimes they would attack uh, the, uh, the, some of the other uh, native tribes that were here in the desert. Uh, sometimes they would attack settlers and people and miners here in the area. And so the, the army would picket troops here at Picket Post to keep an eye out for um, uh, any kind of uh, uprisings or any kind of problems that might arise. Uh, later, uh, they uh, established a heliograph uh, or mirror station at the top of the mountain where they could send signals from peak to peak on a nice clear day, as Arizona has plenty of those. And uh, a very fast way to send a signal if you didn't have telegraph, uh, and certainly faster than sending a uh, Pony Express rider or something. So uh, Picket Post has been used for all that. Now, Picket Post's history, though, is really unique. Uh, like I say, it was an uh, extinct volcano. And uh, we have a clue to it. If you look at the mountain, just the right spot on this side of the mountain, there's, a, there's like a thumb-like butte that sticks up, and it's kind of darker color than the rest of the mountain. Um, gives us a hint to why it blew its top. That was the vent shaft, and it got plugged up with magma, and boom, there it went. Uh, they say it, was a, it oozed for a long time, too, that it, it was a big explosion, but then after that, there was a lot of oozing and a lot of... Uh, ash and, and tuff and rhyolite and stuff just kind of flowed out of the mountain and uh, a lot of the hills and mountains around are mostly made up of rhyolite which is uh, volcanic ash and that's been cemented together and and made of tuff and other things that come out of the mountain uh, obsidian um, the very famous uh, Apache tears as they call them obsidian 
is found uh, just a little bit east of us here between uh, the Arboretum and the town of Superior. Uh, so all of this was, uh, and perlite is mined out of there, which is also a volcanic, low-grade volcanic glass that's used in uh, production of concrete and things. It's also used in um, planting uh, plants. That they, they kind of pop it like popcorn and use it as a filler for plants. So there's a lot of uses for the, the rock in this area as well. Um, copper is a major uh, production in this area. We, we have copper mines all around us. Uh, in fact, Colonel Thompson was a... Uh, mining magnet as I mentioned before he was a copper miner that was his big thing and it was an inspection tour of copper mines that helped him fall in love with this area but uh, no picket post is an interesting mountain for all that those regions uh, those reasons and there's a lot of interesting animal life on the mountain including occasionally you'll see bighorn sheep up there and things like that so uh, it's an important area to protect and preserve and it is uh, currently preserved uh, uh, by the state and the government to uh, uh, for wildlife and things. So it's a fun and very popular place to hike to. A lot of people like to hike pick a post. Yeah, it's just a, a neat, neat mountain to look at. Great. Thank you, Preston. Thank you. Appreciate the opportunity. Bye-bye.